will be threat. No, why are you screaming my name? Oh, I will scream your name however I think. Answer me. What did you go to Brian's house to do? <laughs> what do you think? I went there to do the exact thing you two have been doing for over two years. Liar! You are a bloody liar for Brian cannot stoop so low to have anything to do with a pig like you. He won't. I called you a stinking pig. That's what you are. God, I'll show you what a pig can do. What is happening in my house? My two daughters are fighting each other so much to the level of giving each other wounds. Where did I go wrong in training them? Ah, my husband. I wish you were here. I wish you were here to help me. I've tried my best. I've given them the best education. I've guided them all through. What else do you want me to do? Father Lord, please help me. God, I can't do this alone anymore. Please help. What are you doing here? Madam! Ah. Madam, where did you happen? Ah. Madam, we hear a voice. One guy was inside the house. Now we want to see maybe a problem there. Now we run. Team up. Same up. We come find it. Eh? Madam, I was rushing something outside. I come here. Budu, 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 mm. everywhere. I come around and say, wait the apple for inside. Madam, you see that budu, 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 where? Ah. Now you can see there's nothing happening here. Can you two go now? Eh? Madam! Wait, 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 Come back, come back, come back. Have you done what I asked you to do today? Yes, madam. Land in my sight. Okay. I have good people good. I don't understand. They are all my problems. Annabelle, Winifred, I called you girls here to tell me exactly what happened 
that led to that, that stupid drama I met here a few hours ago. What happened, Wilfred? Mom, if you want answers, you are going to have to get it from that spoiled rat sitting beside you. You are a very stupid idiot for calling me that. <laughs> if there is any problem we are experiencing in this house, Winifred, it is you. You are a very big problem to deal with. Oh, look who is talking. Hey, apparently, you want a part two of what just happened here. And girl, I will oblige you. It appears you haven't seen your face, have you? <laughs> Look at this smart dog. Obviously, you've not seen your face in the mirror. I don't think so, because if you have, you won't open the thing you call mouth to speak. Well, have you seen your face? Girl, I got you battered up and dripping with blood. I did the same I to you. I could do it again. I did, look at your chin. Hey, 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 hey. I did the same. Emma! 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 Winifred, sit inside. Better watch your mouth. Sit inside! Do it. You can do nothing! Winifred, sit inside. No, 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 no. What is wrong with both of you? For Christ's sake, I'm still your mother. You don't have respect anymore? What are you fighting for? If you two try that nonsense in this house again, you will regret ever passing through this room. Mommy, tell those things to stop stealing my man away. Tell her to stop trying to free you my man away. Keep quiet. Shut up. Where did I go wrong in training two of you? You still have each other's back. What is going on? What went wrong? Eh, Winifred? Bia? Eh, eh, Annabelle? What went wrong? She's a man still. Annabelle, now apologize now. For what? As you apologize to her for, 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 for Annabelle! Stealing, for trying to steal my man. Annabelle, if you try this thing again, I will do something that you regret for the rest of your life. Eh, Nuria? You know, Mom, I have time for this. I don't want to go inside. Can you go? No. Oh, thank you. I, 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 Winifred! Winifred! What does the she know how to do other than walking away all the time? Shut up! Fuck you! You might know me with If I say you should go and fight her now, you tell me that you're tired. No, no, I'm not a fighter. Uh, you're, okay, you're, okay, you're, not, you're not a fighter, but you have mouth. You have mouth. I mean, I'm a fighter. I could do a leather. No, you didn't go do. Who could fear me? You don't do anything. She would just be punching you. You don't do anything. You know, I hate it when you talk like that. I hate it. 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 Madam, welcome. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine. Ma. Are my children in? Uh, yes. Na only Madam Mana will not be inside. But Madam Woody Fred, come out. Okay. But she's inside. Yeah, uh, she's inside. Thank you. Ah, thank you, ma. Do welcome. Ma. Okay. Oh. Where's my daughter? She's in her room. Are you done with breakfast? He's almost done. Okay, please come and hurry up and say that to me, okay? Okay. All right. Aha. Uh -huh. Annabelle. Oh, Mom. Yes, sir. You're back? Yes. I woke up and I was told you step out. Just like I told you, I stepped out. What about your sister? I don't know. They said she drove out as well. Annabelle, tell me the truth. Are you still angry with your sister? Mother, I hope you don't expect me to let go of everything that she did to me because it's not possible. I'm not saying you should let go, but I am begging you to forgive her. Annabelle, family is everything. Winifred is not my family. Will you stop saying that? Not that she doesn't treat me like one. Just stop it! 
Come on, sweetheart, she is your sister. I am begging you as a mother to let go. Forgive her, please, I'm begging you. Okay, sweetheart, do me this favor. Please? Okay? Please. I had to, Mom. Thank you. Let's put in the room and see if it's going to have a breakfast, okay? I'm fine, she's all right. Ma, and then we'll sit. Okay, sit. Ah, Annabelle. Annabelle. Ah, she's okay. She's okay. Do you believe I called your sister to join us on this table? She just snubbed me. Why is she behaving like that? Don't worry about that, mother. Just let her be. But why is she behaving that way? Why would she snub me? She didn't even say a word. Why? I don't know what you want to do about this. She came home, she didn't greet you. You called her for breakfast, she refused. What do you want to do? Kill yourself about it. No, please don't get yourself worked up about all this. You know I scolded both of you at the same time. Why is she taking it personal? She's going to be fine. And she has not eaten food till now. Mm. She is not a child. What thing they happen for this house? My brother, if you ask me, I will go out. Well, I know say madame to madame's fault last night. Eh? Yeah. Mm. Uh, when you can they make them fight? Yes, and because of man, my brother. Man and mother? How man go they make them confide, eh? Two sisters where they love themselves so much. How man they make them fight? <laughs> you know the worst part. I yes in a small madam uh, boyfriend. I think that they fight for. Small madam boy. That half and boy where they come make confide small madam. Bam, Jia. How that boy they make them fight now? I mean they ask. I don't know. I bet my they go before Madam go call you and see me. <laughs> Uh, uh, hey. <laughs> Big man children now, wow. Eh? Because of man and they fight. Big man children. For a quiet one, when everywhere, they everywhere, can they just open and you give you free of charge? Then they come and they for one man, one event. My boss. I never see this ending. Eh? You know, they did it. They, 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 they pay for men. They pay for men open door. Eh? Really friend, I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you, Mom. Why won't you want to talk to your mother? My mother wants to talk. She can go talk to her favorite daughter, who goes by the name Annabelle. Well, friend, you know very well that your late father and I loved you too so much. Which are our jewel. We love you equally. Oh, please. Mommy, that's a lie and you know it. You never loved me. Daddy never loved me. You truly love Annabelle so bloody much you couldn't even hide it. That's why in the event of his death, I felt so glad because it meant I had gotten off the book of his hatred. Are you serious? You heard me. How can you say a thing like that against your late father? A man that loved you so much till he took his last breath. He loved you with all his heart. How can you say such ill words against your father? Really, Fred? Ha! Oh, I said what I said, Mom.
What is going on, Mom? Why are you crying? Bien, what did you do to mom? I am asking you a question. What did you do to mother? You were so silly. You have the temerity to walk into my room uninvited and now you throw your nonsense question at me. Are you mad? I am silly. It's okay. But you know what? Really, you are the most foolish person I've ever set my eyes on. Look at you. Your mother is crying before you and you call yourself a daughter. You should be ashamed of yourself. No, you, looking at yourself, are to be ashamed of yourself. Now carry your shameless body out of my room. Right this minute. I Go on. I will do so, but I will have to take my mom with oh, me. Oh, please, both of you, be gone. Let me let's go, please. Keep walking. <sighs> Baby girl, you sounded so urgent and broken over the phone. So we decided to come check up on you to know what is wrong. But ever since we got here, <laughs> you're just sitting down there looking at us. You haven't even said anything to us. What is the problem? Wait a minute. What is that plus on your face? Um, 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 Winifred, what's up? What's all those bruises on your face? What happened? I believe you invited us over because you had something important to talk about. So come on, let it out already. Okay, we are here to listen and we'll figure it out together. Say something now. I'm sorry I had to pull you guys out, but I really needed to talk to someone. Okay, we're here. You can talk to us. We're your friends. So. <sighs> Yesterday, I visited Brian. And it caused a big fight between my sister and I. That explains the plaster on my face. I don't understand. You, you are you trying to say you went to see Brian without Annabelle? I don't get it. I'm still confused. Well, if I understand what you're trying to say, you went to visit Brian. If I may ask, was your sister sick? Was anything wrong with her that made you that prompt you to go visit her boyfriend? No. So what's up? I visited him because I was tired of being a coward. Coward, huh? Brian is mine. I mean, he's supposed to be mine. I saw him first. <laughs> it's still not making sense. I don't get you. What are you saying? Tell you what I mean. You made that particular fair one. Exactly. That's him. Oh my god, isn't he handsome? He is. But what does that have to do with that? Mm. He has a girlfriend, probably. What? Girl, please. You sit up here, you're not going that guy for some minutes now, and it appears he's alone. Because there is no way in life that he'll have a wife or a girlfriend and he'll be in this kind of place. And he's only. He is only. So? Yeah. Okay. Wait a minute. Winnie, don't tell me you are crushing on this guy you want to keep school. I am not crushing. 
what it is, is that I have fallen hopelessly in love with that guy. Okay. I need him in my life. That's my spec right there. Alright, I think it's high time you left. We go and stay. Let's stay a little while longer. Mm. You know what? I have to pee. Let me use lace. That'll stay long. I just I need to pee. I'm done shopping. Waiting. <laughs> My name is Winnie Fred, but my friends call me Winnie. Okay, my name is Brian. Brian? Yeah. <laughs> you are very handsome. Thank you, and you are beautiful and good yourselves. Thanks. So, so what are you? seated here doing all by yourself I mean where's your girlfriend well I don't have a girlfriend you don't yeah <laughs> you expect me to believe that of course I don't have is it funny wow you are serious yeah and what about you what are you doing here, all alone, without your mind behind you? <laughs> okay, first of all, I don't have a man. And secondly, I'm not here alone either. I'm here with my younger sister. She's seated over there. I just went to visit the ladies before I spotted you at this corner. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. So? Excuse me just a second. What? Oh, you see, it's putting me in the What do you mean, where am I? I told you I was going to use myself. But you're taking me on any time. There was a long queue, but I'm done now. I'm making my way back to you. That was my sister. She's starting to get worried about me. That's nice. You have a sister that loves you so much. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. <laughs> yeah, she. She loves me and I know her a lot too. So, can I give you a Sure, why not? Let me give you a This is my business. Oh, nice. And I will be expecting it. Enjoy the rest of the day. You're welcome. Thank you for coming. I'm here now. Thank God you are here. <laughs> Okay. So tell me, how long was the queue that made you stay in love? That queue was long, like even now. <laughs> but that's not the only reason I took time. I ran into an old friend who was a bit I thought as much. Yeah. So, oh, so, can we go? Of course, because I've been waiting for so long. Come on, come on, come on.
business card here. What happened? Where is it? I hope I haven't misplaced it. And I didn't give you my number. Where are you, card? Where? Somewhat red in color, with images on it. No, I didn't see such. Why, why are you looking for a business card? Really? You sure? Is it? Really? What is it? What is it? What is the situation it's been two years two whole years and your sister and brian are getting married they are so in love i beg of you my friend do not do this just let it go already hey 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 coming what are you saying what are you saying are you saying that when you should allow her younger sister get married before her come on that's awkward now it doesn't work that way what is wrong with you Nothing is wrong with no, me. No, something must be wrong with you. I am okay. Can you shut up and let me talk? It's what do you mean? It doesn't matter who gets married first. I have seen younger ones get married before their elders and it changes nothing. It does. Wait, just shut up. Shut up already. Wait a You are my friend and I'm going to tell you the truth. I beg of you to let it go. At the right time, yours will come. Don't mind her. Do not take this advice she's given to you. My dear friend, Go and take the bull by the hole. You cannot let your younger one. Can you shut up and stop talking? Shut up! Don't tell me that! Don't tell me that! I don't even really care about the marriage. Oh, who gets married first or later? What I care about is that someone stole from me and nobody steals from me without me finding to get my stuff back. She stole my man. And I want him back. Money friend, I beg you in God's name, don't do this. Just let it go. This is your sister we are talking about. Kami, I don't like this. Just shut up! Shut up! Don't tell me that! Winnie, go for your man. Anyway, girls, no need of panicking. Let's go and have some fun. You know, something is sad to do. Why are you smiling face for us? I don't understand. Why are you looking at me? Let's go and have fun. Winnie. Oh, hi Annabelle. Hey, Cam. <laughs> How are you doing? I am doing well. You two are looking amazing. You Thank too. you. You look good. Thank you. Are you leaving already? Yes. So soon? Mm -hmm. Oh, we've been around since. Okay. Take care. See you soon. Alright, see you soon. You. Joyce, 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 
Seriously? Nah, thank you for that money. I don't know what to do. I don't know. 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 My only sister, why are we fighting? We are not enemies. Do you know that I love you? You know, Bry is mine. Together we can fly. If only you understand. Oh. What should I do now? I promised Brian that I'll be coming to the house to make some food for him. I'm sure he's going to be expecting me by now. <sighs> what am I going to tell him concerning this plaster on my face? Well, I just have to tell him what I've already created in my head to say. That's it. I need to go upstairs and tell mom that I'm leaving. Oh. Oh. Yes. Mm -hmm. I actually wanted to come upstairs and meet you. I think that they Any problem? I would love to go see Brian, mom. I promised him I would be with him today. It's okay, but you have to be careful. Hmm? What of your sister? She went out with her friends. Her friends came here today? Yeah, they were here. Oh, that's good, but be careful, okay? Like I said. Be ready. It's okay. Thank you, Mom. It's okay. Me have said it's so urgent to the phone. What's going on, <sighs> babe? I'm sorry. Anyway, it's Annabelle. She called me on phone and she was sounding urgent as as well. And I don't know. She said I should inform you so we can come over to her place tomorrow. I don't really know what the problem is. Uh -uh. And secondly, I wanted to see you because it's been long and I missed you. <laughs> <laughs> but are you sure everything is okay with Annabelle? I don't know. I think if we get there, we'll get to know what the problem is. True, though. True. My love, I miss you too. You let me see you now. Walk, 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 walk. Waiting now. Yeah, you know now. Government walk, walk, walk. It's training your body. <laughs> you are the one packing this money this country. Ah, why would you say that? Well, of course, you. you're looking good as well. Look at you. Don't start. Anyway, oh, my God. Um, that restaurant and get food. No problem. Please, on me. Don't worry. Ah! <laughs> I trust you. <laughs> Watch your face. I slipped and hit my face on the wall. Jesus. Why? When did this happen? Last night. Yeah. Last night? Ah, oh, goodness. Is it been... I'm fine. You have to be very careful. Hmm? Be more careful next time, okay? I will, so... Did you get the food stuff so I can start cooking already? Yeah, they're in the kitchen. But this thing that happens to you, I'm not happy. Mm. How can you allow this your beautiful skin to, to get to It's a mistake now. It's a mistake. It happened. It's an accident. Please. Mm, I don't want anything to happen to your skin. You're too precious to me, okay? Please. Okay. You have to be very careful next time. Okay. I promise I will. Thanks to go to the kitchen and start cooking now. Yeah. You need to do because I'm very, very hungry. You should. <laughs> you know I've missed your food. 
Don't worry, I'll give you something very, very delicious. Alright, alright, go and do it. I'll be waiting for you. Okay, baby. I love you. I love you more. Please go, I'm hungry. <laughs> Sweetheart, I want to beg you. Let Brian go. <laughs> Another good man will come. Your sister is engaged now and about to get married. Don't you see? I don't see it, Mom. And no, I won't let Brian go. Brian is mine. But they belong to each other now. Can't you see that they're... they're they are so in love with each other. Can't you see you're doing it again? I mean, this right here is the problem I always have with you, Mom. You're always taking sides with Annabelle. And when it gets to my turn, you never want to know my side of the story. How can you say a thing like that? I love you too so much. I love you equally. Well then, tell your other beloved daughter to back off. To stay the hell away from Brian because, like I said earlier, he's mine. Brian is mine. Brian is mine. How is Brian yours? Why do you keep saying that? Uh, years ago, I was at this bar with Annabelle. And somewhere in the room was this guy. Good looking. I walked up to him and we got talking. It was a vibe. The conversation was flowing. We were having a moment. Annabelle, on the other hand, was very edgy. She didn't want to have any of that going on. She just wanted to go. So she kept pressing me to leave the place with her. Well, she succeeded in disorienting me and I had to leave with her. But before I left, that guy slipped his business card into my pan and I put it in my handbag, promising him that I'd give him a call. I went home. I wanted to call him. And guess what, mommy? What? The business card was gone. I couldn't find it. I searched for it everywhere. I was confused. I asked Annabelle if she saw it or took it, and she said, no, no. She declined heavily, and I was distraught. I was hurting in my heart because I didn't give that guy my number. I only took his card, promising to call back, and there I was in the big dilemma between the devil and the deep blue sea, clueless, not knowing what to do and how to do. Days rolled into weeks, and my heart hurt even more. Just when I was starting to get over it, Guess what happens, mommy? What's happened? Annabelle, one month later, showed up with the same guy, this time introduced him as her boyfriend. And mommy, that guy is Brian. Yeah, same Brian. So imagine how berserk I went. And then it all made sense. It made perfect sense. It was truly Annabelle who stole that business card from my bag and ran ahead, called Brian. I'm guessing she seduced him into sleeping with her and now they are an item and I'm the one who's supposed to back off. How sure are you? Mom! Brian has been resident in my heart. It's been hard to roll him over. The past days, weeks, months, years have gone by and I still want that guy. And if I can't have him, nobody will. How sure are you with this story? Oh, I am 100% sure. Please, I want to beg you. Time has passed. Let it go. Leave Brian for your sister. They are they love with each other. They are about getting married. I'm begging you. Another man will fall in. Please leave Brian for your sister, I'm begging you. Please. Read my lips. I want. Will you 
Wilfred! Excuse me now. Wilfred! What is going on in my house? My own children have turned my peaceful home into a war zone overnight because of a man. Look at my elder daughter. Now I'm making a threat. I have to do something before one kills another. But what should I do? I'm so confused. Even if I tell another to leave Brian for her sister, I know she will not. Besides, I need to confirm the first story from Annabelle first before making my final decision. Yes, that's what I will do. Let me wait for Annabelle to return first and then hear from her. What is that? Mean? Be the answer to my greeting. Well, if that's what you want to hear, I'm coming from Brian's house. <laughs> Did you say Brian? You heard me right. Do you have any problem with that? Oh, yeah. Really? Her 
and two of you stop this madness right now. You see that slap you gave me? I will give it to you. If you don't stop it now, you are more. Ah! <laughs> what is it? Are you stop? Now I'll give you. If you don't stop, I'll do something broken in our bed now. Give me it! Stop it! Now put a few things aside. my verse. Please, Mim, forgive me. I don't want anything to happen to you. You are all that I have. Please, forgive me. I am sorry. Do you care if I live or die? Do you care at all? I wish my husband was alive. <laughs> Mother, please forgive me. I promise this will never happen again. Please. I don't know. Winifred is the one causing all of this problem. No matter how I try to avoid it, she's, she keeps coming. She keeps coming after me. I'm sorry. How is she your friend? What happened? Mother, I came back from Brian's house. Saw my sister seated at the sitting room. I greeted her. Mom, she asked where I was coming from. I said, I'm coming from Brian's house. The next thing she stood up and slapped me. What was I supposed to do? Mommy, I have had enough of her intimidation. I can't take it anymore. I am a human being. It doesn't matter if she's the older one. Is that really what happened? No, that was what happened. That was what happened. Nothing else. That was how the whole fight started. Amabel, I want to ask you an honest question and I want the truth from you. Go on, Mom. Your sister said you stole her business card. That Brian gave her that card two years ago. And you stole it, went behind her to seduce Brian. Mommy, wait, 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 wait. Me, Annabelle. <laughs> I stole her business card and seduced a man. Oh, come on, Mom. There are some things you shouldn't believe. Do you really believe that? That me, Annabelle, stole a man's card and seduced him? So tell me the truth, what happened? Mom, this is what happened, okay? I met this, or rather we ran into each other in my company when he came to fix our system. I never knew that this is the same guy my sister pointed to me at the bar. But I didn't get to see this guy's face. And of course you know me, I am not good with keeping faces, right? Okay? A month later, I introduced Brian, my boyfriend, to my sister. That was when my sister told me that this is the same guy she pointed to me at the bar. How am I supposed to know that? How? I didn't see this guy. I didn't even know Brian and Woody Fred had a conversation, but more of giving his business card to her. But I am not a magician. I am not supposed to know these things. There was, no, there was no proper introduction between Brian and Winifred. There was no one. It's okay. 
Now me, Annabelle, St. Tuesday man, I stole a business card. That was what my friend told you. It's okay. Okay. I know it's a misunderstanding. I will find a permanent solution to this. Okay? Calm down. I need to find a permanent solution to all of this. It's a I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry for this whole drama, mother. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I've gotten home. I'll go here a while ago. I'm sorry I didn't call you immediately to tell you I've gone home. So, how is mom and your sister? Mommy is not fine. She's been crying. Why? What happened? What? Why? Why, why? why would she do such a thing? Oh, what is all this now? What is wrong with your sister? Eh? Just like that. Just like that, my love. I had to slap her back. I mean, we engaged in a very serious fight. Eh? No, now, why, why is Winifred doing this? How can she be fighting you because of me? What is wrong with her? You see, I'm coming to your house. I'm coming to stop this madness. I want to stop this madness that she's exhibiting. I don't like it. What is wrong with her? No, don't tell me there is no need. I'm coming to your house right away. I'm coming to settle all this. No, I will be there. I will be there this minute. My guy, what's yeah. I just did? They wait for I no get joy. I don't tell you. I no get joy. I don't tell you. I got my phone. I said my client. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Mama the mama. Mama won't get doings. Mama, what's up now? What did they happen? They get one and provoke me, Jack. I won't make a man as the person. Ta! Ta, mama, who be that? Ta, they want the person well. No, now. How can a person go provoke you now, mama? When me, when be Jack, they here with you. Mama! The person won't die. It'd be like seeing her die. The hungry mother. See, Mama, it's not supposed to provoke you, but as a matter, don't be like this now, Mama. How you want me to go? But wait first, Mama. Who be this person? Who be this person, Mama? I go show from the cover tomorrow. Tell Prince the Oh, mama, you know say my blood they hot now. Me are the fish and I want to go rush do wire wire now now like this now everywhere. I be yes. Now yes. wow, but mama know ya one now. Anyhow tomorrow now, know ya one now. We go run the matter. Mama, mama, just they play me one tape now. So say you get person where I'm here. How person go annoy mama? How can I wait me day here? Mama, now I walk up. now. You will trick the fuck up, Dan. But what you pay me? Now say, mama, say no be today. Hi! That's what you will do. That one day, Sha. Boy, see this deal, you go strike him. Hello? Elvis. I did. I'm fine. I'm going to Annabelle's house now. Her sister fought her again. She came to the house and prepared a delicious meal for me. We had a good time. 
after that she left just an hour ago and she called me that she had a fight with her sister. I wonder. Mm -hmm. I'm going there right away to settle this once and for all. Mm -hmm. No, 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 don't worry. I'll handle it. Right. I'll handle it. I'll call you, okay? So, how are you doing? Ah, okay, we didn't find no room. Nah, just one guy, the hungry man. No, say if money no day hand, you don't go to his sleep in the shop. And I hope you can help me. I understand you. Yeah, that's good. Ah. Just have this, eh? Uh. Use it and cool off yourself. Hey. Okay? I'm going okay, God okay, bless you. Bless it. God oh, bless you. Thank you, sir. We can go by Buri and Grano. We can keep for this house with the sea. I will come by you. We can put a way to get you and the ring guy. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, look who we have here. Um, it's Mr. Handsome in flesh and blood. William Fred, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Please get your hands up. What do you think you're doing? Oh, it's like I'm doing. Is it now a crime to touch my man? Get your hands off me. This minute. Please. I'll show you what else I can do. Don't you dare! Touch those filthy hands of yours on my man. <laughs> Baby. There goes little Miss Bobby in her pink regalia. <laughs> you are gonna come down, aren't you? <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. I don't have anything to do with you. Stay away from you. Me. should be ashamed of yourself, really, Fred. Ashamed of what now? Sis. I said, don't you dare! Stop it! <laughs> God, if I don't leave him alone, what will you do? What? Willie, really, I beg you to stop. Okay, Winifred. stop this madness at once! Winifred, stop Make it! Me. Babe, babe, it's okay. What? Babe, stop. I mean, make me stop. There's mom around. Where's mom? She's upstairs. Please, I want to see her. I'll get mom for you. It's okay. Stay yeah. away from this bitch. Go, go. Go. So we can Don't go. Don't come close to me. Don't come close. Is he not touching him? <laughs> That's me. Oh, oh son. Hey. You're here. Good evening, Mom. How are you? I am fine. I was uh, in my room reading my Bible when Annabelle came to tell me that you were here. So I said, let me step down and see you at once. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for pulling you out. It's okay. Let's 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 all sit down. All right. You're welcome. Winnie Fred, yeah? Winnie Fred? Yes, yeah, come sit here with me. Come sit here with me, darling. This is 
Mom. Yes. Mom, I'm really sorry for bringing you out from your room. Okay? That's okay. I am here to clarify something. Okay. I'm here for us to discuss like adults. That's beautiful. I, I was saying that I will call you tomorrow or next. In fact, this week I will make sure I call you. I want to believe that the reason I wanted to call you is the same reason that brought you here now. Yeah, thank you, Mom. And thank God everyone is here. Winifred, can you stop pressing that phone? Let's have this civil discussion. What the hell? I'm with you guys. I mean, I can hear you. Go on. Okay. Let's go on, son. Um, it happened a few years ago. Okay. At a bar, when I met Winifred. We had some conversations and she collected my business card that she's going to call me. But I expected the call I didn't see. She didn't call. And I had to forget about that. Meeting Annabelle, I believe is, is destiny that joins us together. I never knew her before. I never knew it, she was Winifred's sister. So, God knows, I never had any intention of going into mercy with her. There was no emotional attachment. All I wanted was just to be a casual friend, for us to be normal friends. It's Annabelle that I love. I love Annabelle so much. Since I met Annabelle, the love I have for her increased a lot. That is why I am here, so I can clarify everything. You know what? This is bullshit. Just shut up already. Because I know you loved me the first time you set eyes on me. If she didn't steal that card, you stole the car. Oh, will you shut your dirty, stinking mouth? How can you even open this gutter and say that I and Annabelle stole a car that I didn't even know existed? Ah, uh, because you did. You fucking stole that card. I am tired of you. You have to stop. Babe, babe. You are not doing this. Are you so mad at me? Baby, it's okay. Baby, it's okay. Some of them stop. You are a thief, a petty thief, and you want to be ashamed of something of you. Now, what is wrong? Are you not doing this? Are you a human being? You are an animal. Ah, it's okay. Can you stop? You want to fight here now? Mom, baby. both of you should stop. It's all right. Um, Mom, the honest truth is, Annabelle did not steal the business card. I never received any call from Annabelle, nor any text message. Annabelle and I meeting each other is just destiny. Oh, you never know shut the fuck up! Because this is bullshit. Now you're sounding like a fool. I mean, I do love this guy, but you sound like a fool right now. What do you mean destiny? What bloody destiny are you talking about? Because as I recall, you love me the moment you set eyes on me. You couldn't wait to have me. If this stupid bitch didn't steal your car, shut up! Just shut up! 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 Shut I ain't got time for this, but I'll leave you with this. You are gonna have to be dead before you can have him. You're crazy. What is it? You're sick in the head. What is it? What is it? What is it? Come back. What do you want to do? Walk away. That's it. Now you stop. She walked out on you, mom. Can you stop right now? A daughter walked out on her mom. A mom. We're done. Mommy, did you see that? Did you see she just walked out on us now? Um, I don't know why Winifred is doing this. Huh? Is marriage by force? I never promised her that I'm going to marry her. Huh? The friendship I wanted never existed. I don't owe her anything. I don't owe Winifred anything. What is wrong with her? It's okay. I know that... Um... 
she will no longer fight in this house again. It has been clear to her and she understands your statement now. There will be no fight again in this house. What is clear to her? What is clear to her, mom? Does she look like someone who is ready to give up? I don't think so. The Willy friend I just left here now is not ready to give up, mom, and you know it. Babe, calm down. Hmm? It's enough. Stop exaggerating things. Thank you. Okay? You're right. Let's assume I'm, I'm exaggerating. But I know what I'm saying. I know what I'm saying and I'm sure, and I'm sure she's up to something. I just hope she's not planning to harm us. Will you shut up? Can you hear yourself speak? You're talking about your blood sister here for Christ's sake. Mommy, I have not forgotten that. No, I know she can be conventional, but not harming you. You shouldn't say that about your sister. I am not forgetting the fact that she's my blood sister. But I know who my sister is. I know what she can do. Annabelle, Mommy. Annabelle. Annabelle, it's okay. Winifred can do such a thing. <laughs> okay? It's okay. Okay, okay I won't, I won't um, say anything again. Mom, I won't. Um, I have to go on my way now. I have done what I'm here to do. Honey, let me see you off. It's okay. Please, baby. I want you to avoid every confrontation and abuses from your sister. Please. I want you to avoid whatever she do. For the sake of mom and I, please. Please. Okay. I promise. I won't fight. Come here. Take care of yourself, okay? You too. I have to go now. Bye, baby. I'm to miss you. I will miss you now. Don't worry. Just take care of yourself. I will. You too. All right. <laughs> Okay, bye. How are you? I'm fine. We're fine. Okay. Um, we greeted Winifred, but she didn't respond. I hope everything is alright. Uh, everything. Everything is fine. Really happy. Brenda, please let's go. She's not the one who came to see after all. Let's go inside, please. Uh, it's okay. Oh. Um, you can go back. Okay. Where is that room? 
Uh, as we were about entering the compound, and she was about driving off. <laughs> My friend is so childish. You mean you greeted her? She did not even think she did not. She said she kept her feet like right away, trash or something. So childish. <laughs> well, girls, I'm sorry about that. So, she always sustains the same age to yourself. Probably she's so pissed off. How about that she's still pissed off? Whatever. So, tell us. What is it you wanted to tell us? What is that you have to do? Yeah. Who knows? Um. Winifred went to Brian's house to see him on Friday. I don't get it. Why? To do what exactly? Like, why are you asking that kind of question? Is it not obvious she went there to seduce him? Because if she was looking for her, she has a phone to call her. So why are you sounding like you don't know what's going on, babe? Like, you, you, you're updated. You should know. She went there to seduce him, nothing else. No, that's not right. Why would you say that? How did you know she went there to seduce him? Is it not obvious? Well, Brenda, make her shock you. She's right. That is exactly what she went there to do because Winifred did not even deny it. What? Are you, are you kidding us right now? I am serious. According to her, she said she met Brian before me. That Brian is hers. Okay, is it actually true that she met him before you? Yes, this is what happened. Winifred and I went to this bar two years ago for some cheese. Right? She pointed at this cute guy to me. I gave blind eyes because I didn't see anything fascinating about this guy. Besides, you girls know that I'm not into men. Yeah. That's it. So, if that's the case, how did you and Brian meet? Meeting Brian is divine. <laughs> I don't even know how to start. There is this period my company had issues with their system. Bran was the tech engineer that was employed to fix them. I didn't know this guy. Okay? He came into my office. We started talking. We exchanged contacts. We kept on talking and communicating. And one thing led to another. We fell in love. It was natural. There was no like <laughs> a month later I introduced Bran to my sister. And right there, my sister told me that this is the same guy she pointed to me two years ago. Just a serious. Boy, what kind of relationship does your sister have with Brian? None. According to Brian, none. Unfortunately for my sister, she lost the business card given to her by Brian. They didn't communicate. They didn't even see each other since that day. Until I introduced my sister to Brian. And right there, she told me that this is the same guy she pointed to me two years ago at the bar. Wow. <laughs> what a story. Wow. <laughs> you know what? Let us start up well. One side. Hmm? The only thing I have to tell you right now, you see your man, hold him tight. Do not give your sister that opportunity to take what rightfully belongs to you. I know, to where, get she know where she can't. Do you know what I'm finding strange right now? Eh? Do you know what I'm finding strange? It's the fact that Brian does not even have feelings for you. Mm -hmm. How can you be fighting for someone that does not have feelings for you? She does understand. not care. She doesn't care if she's wanted or not. She doesn't <laughs> care if Brian wants her or not. All she oh. wants is Brian. And she's so determined to have Brian by all means. <laughs> this is very embarrassing. I'm embarrassed on behalf. <laughs> you are fighting for a guy that does not have happiness for you. Huh. Huh. Brian is my happiness. Really will never and can never take Brian from me. He is mine and that's it. That's that's right. Strongly behind you, girl. Mama the mama. That nah, mama won't get going. Mama won't sabi game. Mama will be the person. We did again. Abi? Mama, just mention the person and see that you don't. Don't. 
it's my sister. What? Mama, share you the one Jesus. You won't make we kidnap your sister. No, no, nah, Mama, I'm out in the sob now. I'm out in the sob. It's none of your business. You are going to do as I instruct you to. All right. All right. All right. When you have your hands on her, keep her safe. Feed her and treat her good until I figure out what I want to do with her. You understand? I might not get a problem with my for that one. Now maybe Jack. I know some way you talk. Now so you go do. Take this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. When the job is done, I'll give you more. <laughs> mama, you know get wahala now. Mama, now you be the mama when get doings. Now you be the mama when I they call Aza. Mama. Mama. <laughs> mama, mama, you don't finish up now. See what you carry on. You don't finish up. I'll tell you. I'll take my leave now. Okay. And I'm counting on you guys to do a clean job. Mama. Trust us. Thank you, Mama. Alpha. Give it to Mama now this time. Mama don't know say you are the jack of all three. I want to say I'm the jack of all three. Yeah. All works and no doings. It makes Jack. No doing. Why is Annabelle not back till now? She's usually back by 5.30. Eh? And this past six, she's not yet here. I'm sure the manager must have left the office. How could we wish they have something doing in the office? Okay, let me wait till 7. If by 7 she is not back, I will have to call the manager. How could happen 7 this girl is not back? I'll call the manager. I'm going to call the So, please help my daughter. Let nothing happen to her. She has never stayed this late before. I think it's time I call the manager. Now let me call Brian first. He should be at his place. Hello, Brian. Uh, please, is that Annabelle at your place? Back from work. That is the problem. She's not yet here. Eh? I hope everything is well with her. Exactly the question. Exactly the question. She, she has never said this late before. Eh? Maybe, maybe I should call the office. Okay, let me call the office. Then I'll call you back. Oh? Hey, we will find it because she's not there. Hello, manager, good evening. Yes, please. I am calling to know if my daughter is still in the office. What? Eh? She left since 6 p.m. She's not yet at home. No, I've called Brian. He said she's not there. Hey! Could it be she, she's hanging out with some friends? Eh? Oh, okay, thank you, thank you. 
think, how ah, she lives since six o'clock? She's telling me, I need to call Brian now. Let's go, call Brian. Help me, she's like, if you could call, please, I'm going to do my alumni call, please. Let this girl come back safely, please, I beg you, please, I beg you. Hey, hey, chip, whoa. Let me call Brian back. Really? What is it? I mean, you seem to be in a mood. When did you start caring about your mother? Anyway, if you must know, your sister is not yet back from work. So? She's not back, so what? She'll come back. She's probably a... At Brian's house, man, having the time of her life. I've called Brian. He says she's not there. I called the office manager. He said she left the office since 6 p.m. And she's not yet there. So? She's a big girl. She'll come back. Why do you sound as if you know your sister's will about I really don't. But like I said, she is a grown-up woman. She'll make her way back home when she's ready. Well, let me go back to pressing my phone. I thought something was wrong. You said, why am I doing this? That's because there is no job out there. Look, I think this is the opportunity you've been looking for. I can change your life. I can make you a better person. Come on, you deserve better than this. So, it's like backstabbing him. 
Come on, no, no, no. Look. But on one condition. Guys, if you let me talk you into this. Huh? No problem. It's okay, just, just tell him about it. He is going to buy my proposal. I am sure. Just tell him. Oh, is he coming now? I'll try and talk to you, okay? Please, my head's like. I am not giving you any hope until I talk to you. Okay? Okay, just try to convince him. said since we are not really sure if she was actually kidnapped, mm -hmm. we have to wait for 48 hours before they will commence any search on her. Isn't that crazy? Yes, ma'am. Can you like that? Yes, ma'am, it's very crazy. You know, this country is very, very frustrating. I wonder. Oh. Um. No, 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 no. How can they say it like that? Though the DPO said they have to set a, a, a search team to begin at least to look for her car. If they are able to get that one, it will be very easy for them to look for her. They might not wait to the... They the might not wait to the 48 hours. hours, yeah. Really? Yes, yes. Oh, That one is better now. I go to my daughter. What did she do to them? How would they take her? Have they killed her? Is she ah. alive or...? No, 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 no. <sighs> Annabelle will come back safe and sound, okay? Amen, no, amen. Please. Don't let this thing disturb you much. Amen. Mom, please. Mom, please. Okay. You need to sit down, please. Okay. Oh. Sorry, Mom. It's okay. Listen, Mom. Annabelle is going to come back. Okay? Yes. Hold your son. Okay. Mom, please, Mom. Mm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Hold your son. Babes. You saw that urgent about the phone. Yeah. What happened? Guess what, girls? What? I kidnapped my sister. What? Yesterday. <laughs> Wait, I don't understand. So where's your sister now? <sighs> She's somewhere. My guys are holding her down. Wait, 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 Winnie. If I get you right, you're trying to tell me you placed the life of your own sister in the life of some hoodlums? Hey, they're not hoodlums. These are not just the random guys. They are my guys and they know the job. When he saw what? How, how, how could you? How could you be so cruel to your own blood? <laughs> you know what, girl? Just shut up. Because I have had just about enough of your bullshit consistently trying to lecture me. Between my sister and I, who is more cruel? Babes, babes, calm down. We're on the road. Oh, really? <laughs> To me, I think you're just making a wrong decision. You need to channel that your energy of yours to something productive, not the other way around. Like what? If I'm not mistaken, your younger sister happens to be the MD of your late father's multi-million company. Yeah, so what does that have to do with anything? I mean, I still own some shares in the company. And I still get fat monthly allowance. So what does it matter if she's the CEO or whatever it is she is? Girlfriend, it matters a lot. Yes, you are supposed to be the CEO, not the other way around. Yes. Have you ever thought of or imagine how much your sister might have acquired in that company? No. She drives a better car than yours. Instead of you to channel that energy you're using to fight over a man with your sister to something productive by taking your stand as the first child. You're here wasting your time running after shadows. My dear, be productive. Joyce, Joyce, may heaven have mercy on you. What kind of advice are you giving her? 
No, instead of you to tell her to go release her sister wherever she kept her, before she land herself into trouble, here you are saying rubbish. I'm saying rubbish. My dear, I'm saying the right thing. That sisters of hers need to be taught a lesson. Really? Yes, so she can respect her elder. Don't tell me that. No noise. No noise. You know, I just remember that I had to be someplace right now. So y'all can go. All right. Winnie. Hey. Yeah. We should go. Is it that all I've been saying you don't understand or you've not been listening? No, no. I really appreciate the time. I'll call you. Sorry. Winnie, Sorry, let's go. Why would she listen to you when you have been speaking? I don't like, like this. From your mouth. Giving brother wrong advice. Let's call it finish. Nice. Don't, don't tell me that. Stage. My food. Your week because you have not eaten anything. Okay, you'll be fine once you eat food. But tell me, what really happened? How did it happen? Mother, I promise I'll tell you everything. But not now. By the way, is Brian away at the office? Yes. He nearly spent the night here with his friend. They rushed to the police station, reported the incident, so that they can start search immediately. That's good. Mommy, please, I, I want you to do something for me. Go ahead. I want you to invite Brian over, but I don't want him to know my back. Also tell Silas and Cecilia that they shouldn't give him that information. It's okay, I'll do that right away. Okay, first of all, let them get your food, okay? You'll be fine. Sorry. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Sorry. 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 Mom, this is the gift. Yes. Thank God you're back. So what happened? How do I begin? I... Everything that happened was like a miracle. Because... Up until now, I still cannot explain how I got home. I was coming back from work driving slowly on my lane when this keke just double crossed me babe i was so scared two guys came out from the keke with pistol in their hands and and ordered me out of my car with guns <laughs> jesus christ <sighs> babe. 
I didn't know what I was thinking at that point. They dragged me into their cake. Took me to a house that I don't, I don't know if it's a house or a room or a cell. It's there was no window, there was nothing. I can't even see the outside. I kept begging for my life. I kept pleading for my life. I I even tried to bribe them. I tried to strike a deal with them so that they can just let me go. The next morning they dropped me somewhere. Just there I realized that was where my car was parked. That was how I drove home. Just like that. Babe, just like that. Mm. Ah, like Thanks a miracle. Be to God. No. <sighs> Glory be to God. <sighs> Babe. Thank God. Thank God that you are back. Safe and sound. But that means they are not after money. Not at all. I told you, I tried to bribe them. I tried to see if I can give them money so they can release me, but they refused. Uh, uh, this whole thing is just a miracle, babe. I... Babe, are it's you cold. sure you, someone is not after you? Like, think very well if there is someone you're suspecting. Yes. Yes. Yes, babe, you're right, because they were, they were acting under instruction. Huh? Yes. yes. I am telling you, they were acting under instruction, I am sure. This is serious. Devil is a liar. This is serious. And the instruction failed them. Ah, babe, that means you have to be very careful. Or rather, we have to be very careful. Mom, Winnie is the only person I am having beef with. Mm -hmm. Babe. Okay. Thank God that you're fine now. Thank God that you are alive. Um, Mom. Yes. I have to go to the police station now to inform them that she's back. Good. Very good. I have to go, eh? Very good. Thank you. Hey. Let me go and inform them, eh? I'll come back as soon as I've done that. Hi. 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 I'm happy that you're back. I missed you so much. I missed you too. Right, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, babe. I'm waiting. I'm coming back right away, okay? Thank you. Mom, I'm coming. Thank you. Hi. Hi. That's it, what, what? The police. Winnie. He's responsible for this. Since I came back, I haven't seen my sister. Where is she? Where oh, come? Yeah, she comes. Hi, Mom. Welcome, my friend. Hey, Annabelle. Hi, Mom. You're back. I am. I see. So the kidnappers let you go. How did you know I was kidnapped? <laughs> you were gone for a couple hours, I mean. It's only a kidnap situation that would have kept you away. So yeah. Okay. So how'd you make it back? You escaped or they had mercy on you? Which one is it? You know what? Never mind. I don't even care. Mommy, mm -hmm. this stuff I want us to talk about and it has to be now. I wonder if you think this is the right time to discuss that. Yeah, now's the right time. I'm very sure. So, I think that it's time I began to run our father's company as the first child and first daughter of this family. You must be very stupid to spill that from your mouth. 
Shut up, kidnapped girl. It seems you never learn. You're a stubborn one, aren't you? Winifred. Yes, Mama. What makes you think that you're the right person to lead a company? Uh, Mommy, what makes you think I'm not the right one to handle the company? I mean, she studied civil engineering. And I, on the other hand, studied business administration. <sighs> so keeping these factors in mind, Mommy, isn't your question ridiculous? Winifred, I'm asking you this because um, I want you to understand one thing. Your sister started following your father to the office right from when she was in secondary school. And when she graduated, she continued in that office. So she knows everything about that office. You have never worked. Besides, she studied civil engineering, which makes her a better person to run that company. Please. Like I said, I am the first daughter of the family, as you know. So it makes absolute sense that I take over, especially in the event of my father's demise. Let me remind you, sister of mine. Wait, hold on. Are you just waking up? You're just realizing that you are the older sister. Wow. Well, let me remind you again that father made it so clear before his demise that I, Annabelle, will be running the family business after his demise. Why are you even bringing it up? Why are you speaking about it now? Winnie, we are going to follow what father's will states. And that's it. Baby says, I believe I have a gift for you. Give me a second. Somewhere here. No, no, no. Oh, there it is. Fuck you. Fuck you and fuck that stupid will. You're trying to talk to me about a goddamn will that you guys possibly may have altered? What? Shut up! up! I will not fall for that crap. Mom, what if I can you say something like that? Mommy, I said what I that said. That will was signed and sealed. Y'all can what? shove it down your asses. What if I sister? Killing my husband is not enough for this girl. So she want me to die before my time. Mother, nothing will happen to you. You will live long to see your grandchildren. Nothing will happen to you. Amen. Amen. Hi guys. Hey. You're welcome. How are hey. you? I'm good. How are you guys? I'm fine. Fine, yeah. You're welcome. Uh, so, what's up? Um, this one you invited us here, and that look on your face, I sense there's trouble. So, let's hear it. Trouble? Haba? Camilla, that was too harsh. Why will you say that? But I'm speaking the truth. Wait a minute. Are you by any chance insinuating that I am a problem carrier? Winnie, that you is You know what, shush? Because I don't even blame you. I'm going to blame myself for this one, you know, because I'm always calling you to come to me when I need to share important stuff. That's why you think you're all that. Isn't that right? Oh, girl, I'm sorry. Come on, let's put a smile on your face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, what's up? What's wrong? Just let it out. We're here to listen to you. Waiter. Waiter. Yes, ma'am. Please Hi. give my friends a bottle of this crap. Look at them. Listen. So, I called you guys because. I need to apologize 
to you guys for the last time. I need to... Thank you. Can I have you open up, please? Thank you, thank you. So baby girl, then go ahead. Sorry for that break. Yeah, so I'm sorry for the last time. And also there's new information that I can't wait to let out to you guys. Okay. Okay, we're listening. The last time we were together, George here made some very vital points. <laughs> you remember? Yeah, I do. How you persuaded me to quit pursuing the irrelevant and go for the relevant. Yeah. Well, I took your advice. Wow. <laughs> I did take her advice. And the consequence, as I speak to you, has raised some bloody chaos back in my home front. Which of the advice do you take? Joyce here persuaded me to take over my father's company. And then I had to talk to my mom about it. And did she agree? Well, I did tell my mom and my sister and they vehemently opposed the idea. I mean, my mom, according to her, she says that I'm not qualified to run the company. Can you believe that? Um, William, if I may say, I think your mom is right. I mean, let's look at it this way. You and I know you have never worked before. And your dad's company is not a child's play. It's a construction company. It's big. You have never worked before, which makes you inexperienced. Let's just say you take over the company as the MD. How are you going to cope? Are you a fool? What the hell is wrong with this baby? She's sick in the head or something. Whose side are you on anyways? You know, it appears that this stupid bitch has made it a habit to deliberately antagonize me a lot lately. And I wonder why. What kind of friend are you? The kind that will always tell you the truth. When you are my friend and we have come a long way, I can never deceive you. I can never lead you astray. You handling your father's company when you are inexperienced is not the right decision or the right move to take. Your sister has been doing a fantastic job. Why don't you let her continue the way she was doing? You shut your mouth, you stupid brat. Shut that dirty mouth of yours. If you have nothing to say, shut up and get out! Hey Fred, did you just when I will slap you crazy if you don't pick your dirty bag, your dirty self, and get the fuck out? You would have slept. Get up now and go! Okay. I will go, my friend. If I'm not my wife, you will regret it. Oh, boys! You're lucky I didn't break this bottle on your head. Wait, what's wrong with you? you damn bloody fool. Oh, you want to start with me? I'll give you some of me. Excuse me. Your excuse. Now pick your dirty bag and walk on with your loser of a friend. I should pick my dirty bag and walk away, girl. Oh, really? You will look for me. For and let me tell you. When you will look for me, you want to. Ah, uh, yes. Well, who's going to look for you? You. Your trashy self. You're not gold. Neither are you diamond. Now get to stepping. I don't blame you. Bounce. You're a fool. I blame you. Ugly duckling, oh. poverty stricken, get out oh. with your cheap ass clothing and cheap ass hair. Everything about you cheap. Don't ever talk to me. Don't call my phone no more. I don't care about you bloody idiots. Welcome girls. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I called you both here because I have something very vital I want to talk to you about. So, what is that? I hope it's good news. Brian and I have chosen a date for our wedding. You don't mean it! I am serious, girl. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is the best news I've heard in a year. You can see that. <laughs> Well, we're going to get a wedding planner who is going to take care of every single thing. Okay. Okay, because 
I want this wedding to be the best a town. No it's cap. It will. So shall it be? <laughs> it will, of course. Are you guys here? Yes, that would be last Saturday of November. Wow, wow, that's good enough. Enough time to plan for the wedding. Yes, so because I want everyone, all my guests, to be well prepared. I'm so happy. Oh my for god, it's on the top upside down. You know what's gonna happen? This is because we need to pour champagne. Because exactly. it's not easy. Exactly. We're gonna turn this town upside down. Yes, you know what? <laughs> We're not popping shit here. Okay? Okay. We need to be outside. Let's go out and home. Now? Yes. Now! <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, let me just get close something nice. Alright, I got a problem. Oh my goodness. Hey! Unbelievable. I know, right? After wow. all the drama, she's finally getting to my face. Thank you! Can you imagine my own younger sister? Getting married in three months. Three months from now. While me, on the other hand, I'm yet to find a good man. In addition, she is in charge of the company. I must take possession of the company as the eldest child of the Wachuku family. She can have Brian for all I care, but she cannot have the company. I will not allow that. I have given her enough time to hand over the company, but she doesn't want to. And even our mom is in total support of her. I'm going to have to eliminate her once and for all. There is no mercy again. So, Anna, what do you want to do now? You said your sister will be getting married in a few months' time to the only man you have ever loved, right? Mm-hmm. So, what's the plan? I'm thinking... Let's cripple her. What? I need her alive and in pain. Enough to see me while I take over at the company and run it right on that nose. Come on, Mama. Come on, no, 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 no. Mama, don't you think this is wickedness? Yes! Keeping her half alive in misery for the rest of her life is enough wickedness. So, to me, I don't, come on, no, if you ask me, no, that's enough wickedness. Come on, Mama. Well, I didn't ask you. So, show your pain down your ass. What do you suggest? That we kill her instead? Uh, uh, Mama, this one had no, I have no sister to this. <sighs> well, Mama, um, for me, I, just like I said earlier, I don't think we should do anything to her. But definitely no one wants to repeat Come on, Mama, come on, take that away. Come on, drop it down. Come down, 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 Madam, a 
as we are saying, the boys confess that your daughter here paid them to kill one Miss Annabelle and Mr. Brian. Jesus Christ. Yes. Are you sure of what you're saying? Of course. Winifred. <laughs> Surely there must be some form of mix up here because this is ridiculous. I mean, how dare you stand there and accuse me of being responsible for the abduction of my own sister? Winifred. Is this a joke? Officer. Um, Mr. Winifred. The evidences are there to attest to the fact of what we just said right now. We will get to the police station, you have to prove yourself better. The boys confess they attested to you sent them to kill one Mr. Bram and Miss M. What's her name? Miss Annabelle and Mr. Bram. Beautiful. They attested you sent them to kill one Miss Annabelle and one Mr. Bram. Really? So as it stands right now, madam, you are under arrest for attempted murder of one Mr. Brand and Miss Annabelle. So please, can we move that to the station now? No. Will friend? Stand up, we don't have that time. Stand up. Move please, it. can we move to the station right now? Please, we don't have this time to waste here. Move it. Are you sure? Move it before you, I, I handle you roughly now. What are you saying? You're gonna come get me out, don't you? Move it. I'll be waiting for you to come get me out of that shit hole. Oh. Officer, give me a call. Officer, we are family, we are one, my only sister. Why are we fighting? We are not enemies. Do you know that I don't do? You know. Stop. 